Welcome back to Fist Entertainment for my final review of the night, which will be for 2023's. There's some 2022. Let me have a look here. Yeah, 2023's. 2023's Scream 6. Alright. When it comes to the ranking at the end of, the, of reviewing this particular movie, you guys are going to be surprised where this ends up, ends up on it. Alright, Scream 6. Well, let's read the plot synopsis first. I mean, they're really small on this one, didn't they? The four survivors from the most recent Wisbro Ghostface killings have moved to New York City for a new start. Just as they begin to lead a sense of normalcy, they re re receive the infamous call. Ghostface is more brutal and more relentless than ever and will stop at nothing to hunt them down. Okay. Doesn't give the plot away really at, at all, but what this is doing with is um, the middle chapter of a, basically a new reboot trilogy, which is basically kind of what, what they're going about with this one. Now, do I hate this movie? No. Is it the worst one in the series? No. But is it one of the best ones in the series? Also, no. All right. There's one mistake they did in this movie that I don't like. Um, the last remaining legacy character. Why is it that no matter what the hell you do to Gail Winter, to to uh, Gail Wetters, how is it that Gail Wetters always tends to survive and or anything like she's like she's invincible? Now, if it was Dewey, who, of course, we lost in, in, the, in the last film, um, if he, you know, survived his scuffle with Ghostface and he didn't die, Grant, it wouldn't have made that film so impactable, but I would rather have that than go wet, wet wetters being, you know, if her scuffle, just to be saved, and then you think she died, then we find out she didn't. It's, just like, it's like, oh, come on. We see Vin Diesel in the Fast and Furious films, no matter what the hell that guy does, he's indestructible. Alright. With that said, though, I'm glad we have one legacy character left. But, yeah. And that it brings to an editor thing. Our, killer, our, our killers in this one, um, they, uh, they stab a lot of our main characters, like, multiple freaking times. And they all survive. That's the, that's what gets to. That's what does not settle well with me at all. All of our main characters from previous films to get stabbed up in this film all survive. It's like, why did he do that? Could he only have killed off at least one or two of them? What is good about this film is the story. The story is very good, and it, you have a very very good twist. There's a, lots of very good twists in this movie. So it, by all means, it's not a bad movie. But this is probably going to end up low on, on, on the ranking, for sure. Because of the mistakes that it makes. And, um, let's talk about the quality real quick so we can do that ranking. It'll take a little while. Alright. Because it's, it's, it, this one actually is an HDR 10. 4K and it also has a Dolby Atmos sound presentation. The Dolby Atmos sound presentation is pretty generic. It's not bad, it's just generic. So don't expect like, you know, no time to die or smile like, you know, Atmos sound presentation. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, and I keep referencing those films, watch them, you know what I mean. It's such good use. 
Um, but the 4K picture is pretty damn good. The twists in the movie are pretty good. There's a lot of things you don't see coming, and then they all happen. It's like, but again, here's another problem. Once you start, once you start pulling back the layers, and are about to reveal this or that, you kind of already figured it out by by the time they do reveal it. And that right there is what makes this one not as superior as we would want to probably like it to be. Um, so with that said, let's go to the ranking. Coming in at number, and we, and we go from the best to worst, not worst to best. Our agreed let's, let's do it worst to best. Let's do worst to best. Worst Scream film would have to be Scream Scream 6. Yeah, there you go. And just like that, you know what? When you go ahead and talk about these movies and then you go ahead and brain through them, things can change that snap of a snap of a finger like that. And that's basically just what happened. Yeah, Scream 6 would be the worst of the six films. Now, does that mean it's a bad horror film? No, it's a, it's a fun horror film, but... In terms of ranking, it's going to be at the bottom of my list, at the very bottom, at number six, would be Scream 6. Um, unbelievable that um, all of our main characters, except except for, um, well, no, take it back, all of our main characters get stabbed numerous times, and nobody dies. No one. Unrealistic. That doesn't feel like a scream film to me when everybody's invincible, no matter how many times you stab them, they all survive. Um, too much build-up to reveals that you find out what you're going to reveal before they reveal it. So that's why is at number six. Number four. Yeah, scream number four is at five. Yeah, scream four would be at five. Love the story. Love how it kind of went on to do that revival recall thing and um, did a great job. Definitely, um, definitely a very good twist and no one saw it coming at the end of the film. Great movie, but it's just, it's not on the level. It's not on the level as the next four films in the rank, ranking I'm going to give you. Um... It just misses that flavor that these four have. But it's still a, worth, a worthy contender to, to go to the number four spot, but it stayed on number five, rock solid, locked. This is where it gets weird. This is where it's going to get very, very, very weird. People are going to hate me for this one. Coming in at number four. Coming in at number four is the original landmark movie, Scream. I know, I know. What the hell is wrong with you, Fizz? Why are you put in the first one all the way down there? Well, it's a product of his time. Of course, a lot of these are, but at some point in the film, at some point they t somehow got a little predictable. There are some things you can see coming, like, um, for example, um, I saw Billy L Loomis coming. I kind of knew he was a killer, and that's that's why is that for? Because you knew, you kind of somehow in the back of your head you knew that Billy Loomis was a killer, and Stu, Stu, you can see from a mile away, and so that's why is that for? Lacks the um, twists, but also lacks the. Creativity that the these top three have, and the risks that these top three take. All right, now we're at the top three. Coming in at number three would have to be Scream Twenty Twenty One. Scream Twenty Twenty One. 
is a perfect example of a perfect reboot, in my opinion. Um, you brought back legacy, legacy characters, you had the balls to kill off a legacy character. And we've seen that happen with um, one other movie, and that was um, Halloween Kills, in which he killed off plenty of legacy, legacy characters, but not quite one, quite like the one he killed off in this. Um, it really felt like it dragged you in and just kept you going, and it just uh, everything about this movie is just a work of genius, a work of art to me. And what's crazy is it was not directed by Wes Craven, and that's very different that somebody else could actually capture all of that. Which brings us to the second best Scream movie, in my opinion, and that would be Scream 3. Scream 3, to me, set the formula in a, a, clock, a, a, locked, a locked mechanism that just works. And I wish that all trilogies would do this. I, w I wish that all trilogies would literally go back to the original movie and start twisting things and changing things around and then and then pulling a big jaw drop on you when you find out something. You can find out that everything that happened in the first film or in the first chapter of a, of, of, of a trilogy or whatever um, was to throw you off from, the, from what really was going on. And that's what Scream 3 does so well, which comes to our... What I think is the best in the Fender Scream film, Scream 2. Scream 2 is a work of genius, in my opinion, a film that is just the one I will always go back to as the second one. I love how it plays off of off of, you know, horror sequels. And it's just it's crazy just how well they crafted this movie. In the flow of it, and the fact that it's such a celebrated movie that you just have to have it at number one. And there you go. There's my review on Scream 6 in my ranking of the, of the Scream franchise. And I will see you guys next time.